Good morning, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and you're listening to Coffee with Chris, the time of the day where we share a cup of coffee and share a bit of the Word of God. This is our fifth Sidra, our fifth Aliyah of this Torah portion of Va'et Kanan, which means I pleaded, and it's taken from Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 19, all the way to chapter 6, verse 3, so I want to hang out in chapter 5 and uh, just focus in on verse 29. So you must take care. To do as Adonai your God has commanded you. Do not turn aside to the right or to the left. Verse 30, you are to walk in all the ways that Adonai your God has commanded you. Why? So that you may live and it may be well with you and you may prolong your days in the land that you will possess. Now, you know, it's just within us as fallen mankind to think that we can improve upon perfection. You know, there's an old joke in Judaism where uh, this Jewish guy took all of Shakespeare and he translated Shakespeare into Yiddish and he entitled it Shakespeare New and Improved. Why? Because it's put into Yiddish, <laughs> right? But you can't improve upon perfection. And so when God lays out the laws, he lays out all the laws that we ever are going to need. And we are not to add or subtract to them. We're, we're, we're not to add to them and say, well, God said to do this, but you also have to do this, 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 and this too. That's called legalism. And you are not to diminish God's word and say, well, I know that God said do this, but we're in a different age and a different time. So you really don't have to do that. So don't worry about that. In Revelation and also in, in later on in Deuteronomy, he says, you know what? I'm going to punish those. Who add to the word of God? I'm going to add punishment to those who add to the word of God. And those who take away from the word of God, I'm going to take away from them. Take away from their honor, from their life, when they take away from the word of God. You will not go unpunished if you add or subtract from the word of God. The word of God is perfect. It's what it is. It doesn't need tweaking. It doesn't need improvement. And that's what we need to focus on, the plain simplicity of the word of God. Now, let's not confuse adding to the word of God and, and equating that with tradition. Now, tradition may sometimes seem like you're adding to the commandments of the Word of God, but, com but traditions are things that you choose to keep because they're meaningful to you, because they draw you closer to God. Not that they make you more holy, but they make you feel closer to God. Now, if a tradition gets in your way of actually following the plain Word of God, then get rid of that tradition. Even Yeshua said, you know what, you guys, nullify my commandments by your traditions you know because if somebody said korban which means whatever i have i dedicate it to the temple it's korban it's dedicated to the lord but yet people were using this as an excuse to break the commandment of honoring your father and your mother your father and your mother get old you have to take care of them there is no welfare system back in the day so you know uh you know say well mom and dad i know you're struggling i know you need help but I'm sorry I can't because Korban, I already dedicated this to the temple, so sorry. And the Lord says, no, you're, you're nullifying my commandments by your traditions. So if there's a tradition that actually nullifies God's commands or, ta or, or, or takes you away from God's commands or adds to God's commands, then get rid of it. Otherwise, honor traditions because they're very special and uh, they can't kind of keep you rooted in where you come from and who you are. Guys, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom and God bless.